hello friends i am simple from motion tutorials and in this video i am going to show you how to create this nike logo animation in after effects so let's get started first of all import this illustrator files here you can see nike logo and nike shoes so first import nike shoes and here you can import as footage and import click on ok drag this nike shoes into the timeline and here you can see so first go to the tool panel and here you can select puppet tool and now let's create pins so first create pin here and second third and fourth now go to the timeline and here you can press u you can see this four puppet pin and now let's animate this so here go to the little bit forward into the timeline and uh, here create keyframes and now let's animate this here you can drag these pins like this you can easily animate and uh, create motion in the shoes now let's check yeah so it's look good and uh, here you can a uh, little bit closer so animation too fast so let's uh, select this layer and uh, pre-compose this layer so control shift C this is the pre-composition and here you can select this option and click on ok now let's uh, animate these shoes press P for position and uh, here you can um, drag these shoes at the left side and now create second keyframe here and drag this shoes little bit right side and uh, create here third keyframe drag this little bit right side again and now create fourth keyframe of this position and drag at the right side it's nice so so let's play the animation how it's look yeah it's nice so let's so let's add add uh, scale and rotation so press shift s shift rotation and here you can create both keyframes and uh, and again create second keyframe here and go to the first keyframe and here you can put the rotation value uh, minus 94 and put the value 0 of this scale and now let's play Uh, here you can put the value 0 of this rotation yeah it's it's look good and you can do one thing you can drag this shoes position at the left side little bit left side yeah it's animation is good so now let's uh, go to the second step import this uh, Nike logo here and import as composition retain layer sizes and import drag this Nike logo into the timeline and uh, here you can see the logo and um, you can animate this all part here you can see different parts N I K E and here this is the logo logo part so start start with logo part so hide this all layers here and now let's animate this one so first right click on it here and go to the create and uh, create shape from vector layer and uh, let's 
go to the contents and uh, group here you can see path so let's admit this admit this using path so here you can create click on this stopwatch icon for create keyframe and uh, create second keyframe here so go to the first keyframe and here you can select path and drag this path at the bottom at the bottom yeah oops so you can select this one and here yeah it's so now let's play how it's look yeah it's a little bit slow so here you can um, here you can select the second keyframe and uh, little bit closer and now play yeah it's it's look nice select this both keyframes and uh, right click on it and go to the keyframe assistance and easy ease okay so here you can see the first step and uh, apply the same effect all these layers so let's start
so it's finally done so here you can see the logo animation of this all words so now let's uh, select this middle keyframe and uh, press F9 for easy ease and uh, this one also yeah now let's uh, control select all layers and press U for hidden keyframes so here this is all layers so let's uh, adjust these layers manually so select first here so first select this N and uh, I K E so here you can okay so now drag here unselect this eye layer and a uh, little bit go forward and now last select this E and uh, yeah it's nice so let's play it's one by one animation all 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 words it's uh, looking very slow we can try to uh, use this you can we can adjust this keyframe to little bit fast and try little bit closer all of these keyframes now let's play yeah it's uh, look very nice so now yeah uh, I want to duplicate this layer so select this logo part and uh, press ctrl D and uh, um, select all these words layer and uh, and uh, press ctrl D and drag little bit forward and uh, now let's so here you can see uh, I used duplicate because I want to change this color so here you can select this um, logo part top layer and uh, let's change any color for now and uh, I select this one and uh, here you can select for N uh, you can pick any any color your suitable so here I just pick a random color for now and last one E pinkish color so here you can select this one so click on ok so now drag this all top top layers select this all top layers and drag at the bottom yeah uh, not it's not like that so select single and uh, drag at the bottom yeah it's it's nice so so now let's play the animation I hope it's it's look good yeah it's very nice and uh, very nice and cool animation so here you can do one thing uh, select these top layers and uh, 
drag little bit forward some keyframes so this colors visible yeah it's very nice yeah it looks good and now here you can see uh, that at the top this is the trademark so we can this is a black color so we can uh, convert into uh, white so select this layer and go to the layer and here you can layer style and uh, color overlay so we can change this color into white yeah now let's animate little bit this trademark icon so here you can first select uh, press y and uh, anchor point center and now here you can uh, yeah so let's scale and um, rotation you can use shift r so create both keyframes and now here you can create second keyframe and go to the first keyframe and here you can put the value uh, scale 0 0 and here you can minus 90 and let's play and press f9 is is let's check how it's how it's how it's look yeah it's very slow so you can a uh, little bit fast okay so it's done so now this is the last step and the final result you can see now so you can change the background here so you can add black color black solid layer yeah and go to the back of this comp one and now let's drag at the bottom and here you can see this shoes animation and uh, now I need to change this uh, first shoes Nike shoes go to the composition and here I want this shoes into white color so select this shoes and here you can go to the layer and uh, uh, select go to the layer style and uh, select this color overlay and now here you can uh, create keyframes color and uh, create second keyframe so first keyframe go to the first keyframe and here you can select uh, first black color and then second keyframe should be white and uh, here you can see the result I want to show you this funky animation I hope this video will be helpful for you so please like subscribe to my channel and keep watching and stay tuned